Okay, so last video ended a bit with a downer, so I wanted to change that immediately. We met Josh on our Scotland trip, we traveled together, and during that trip, we made a little tour of his van setup. I hope you like it. I bought about three years ago and um, went absolutely cross-eyed trying to find the right one because a lot of them had been ragged, driven through mud by guys like him. <laughs> um, finally found the one I wanted. Uh, not the one I could afford, but have made it into the one that I want. This this used to be... It was just a standard panel van. It was a panel van. So yeah. basically this was all white. Yeah. And two seats in the front and that's it. That was it. There were two seats in the front and the back was basically somewhere workmen would throw their tools. For me it was something that gave me freedom, places I could kind of escape to and just wake up in places like this. It's just absolutely insane. Put in the windows, that was the biggest thing. Pretty scary, taking a jigsaw to my biggest investment to cut the hole in the metal to actually put these windows in. So internally you can see the windows are a lot smaller, but what these windows do is they give me privacy. It means I can sleep in here and no one knows I'm in the back. Happy days. This vehicle is essentially my work vehicle. So I own a hotel, come see me, Pucks Rest Scotland. Um, and this carries all the tools that I need, all the materials that I need to build my hotel. So when I get away, I've got to have something super quick and super easy that I can throw in and get away with. And that's kind of what we've done here. We've created a, a bed frame that I can take up and down within seconds, literally one minute. It's Ikea slats on the top, um, currently screwed down, but usually just held, held in place by their own tension. It's got a middle spline that just slots into spaces at the end there. So one thing I always say when you are building a camper van is build it for you. Don't build it by the pictures you see. Don't put a shower and a toilet and a hundred other things in it. Go and camp in it. Go and throw a mattress in the back and just go and sleep in it and then figure out what you're missing. So that's what I did. And one of the things I was missing was power. So behind the passenger seat here where Nero Oops. sits, we've got an inverter. So that runs my computer, my drone batteries, my camera batteries. I've got a leisure battery under the seat as well as the main battery and all my fuses so I can continue to add anything extra that I need within this truck. How is it traveling and living in the van with Nero? You very quickly learn when you're traveling with a dog that you need your own space because if you don't, you are gonna go to bed as filthy as your dog does and he doesn't care at all. So he sleeps in the passenger seat um, when he's at home with me, he always sleeps on the bed because by the time he's up there, he's super clean. But in this truck, it's a very small space. So you have to have spaces where your dirty boots go, your dirty coats go, and then you have to have a space where your dirty dog goes, and then you've got your little haven, which is your bed. Best upgrade, diesel here. Second best upgrade, sound insulation, man. Like old vehicles, if you're driving an old Synchro VW Land Rover, Get it soundproof because it's going to drive you absolutely nuts. And it's nice to have a conversation or an argument because you've been stuck in a van with someone for five days. At least you know what they're saying. So the main questions I get asked living in a truck is where do you shower? Where do you poo? This is the world's greatest toilet. Look at the views that we have. You just go and select your location. You take your spade, go and dig your hole and you just get ready for the best poo you've ever had in your life. So you go and buy yourself water in one of these, right? And the cheap way to have a shower is drill the end and stick it on top of the truck. And you got yourself a two minute shower. Now something I realized super recently, which- You figured this out this. like what, yesterday? Two days ago, Two yeah. days ago, you figured this out. It was like, he was so happy. Yeah. This is like best invention ever. Now I did this by accident. So I left this water next to my diesel heater for half an hour. And I went to go and pick it up and it was toasty warm. And then I drilled my holes and then I had a hot shower outside. And that is the best thing I've ever, ever learned whilst tra traveling in this truck. It now means every single night I can have a hot shower for the cost of a bottle of water. No fancy camping gear. Yeah, we have to spend the money on the diesel heater, but once you've got it, this is all you need. Try it before you go and buy anything super expensive because you just don't need it. I would say van life, keep it simple. Absolutely. Because with all your fancy stuff, if that breaks down, yeah. you're fucked. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Uh, keep it simple. 
carry what you need, not what you want. What you're gonna do the first time you go camping is you're gonna bring all your clothes. You're gonna bring four pairs of shoes. And by the 50th time you go camping, you're gonna be like, well, the last 49 trips, I only changed my jeans once. And I changed my t-shirt like every single day. So I'll bring five of those. But you do start limiting what you need. And that makes the whole thing so much less stressful. So definitely go check out Josh's Instagram. This video is something completely different than what I usually post on my channel. I hope you liked it. Leave your comments down below. Uh, I, I like to hear from you what you think. And if you want to see more of this, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.